Hi, welcome back to Raunchy Reality Recaps. And, well, y'all, we're going to cover some Kim. Kim Zolzak. Y'all, I've been covering this lady for a year, and I can't know if it's pronounced Zolzak, Zolzinak, or whatever. But I know Croy's name is pronounced Beerman. I, I can get that one. Anywho, let's get into it. It's been a lot, and I don't even know when the last update I did. I think it was right after she had her JJ surgery, you know, to get it all tight and nice down there. I don't know. I should have said trigger warning. I really should have. I'm sorry. Anywho, so she got her surgery, and since then, uh, apparently they had another incident where a kid called 911. The cop showed up, and if you want to go check out the actual um, body cam footage, they're definitely out there. Just Google it. I think Plunder might have done that, or is that where I saw it at? But I can't be sure for sure. But definitely check it out because you'll see croy he's upset that she i guess she's he claims she's seeing men she was sitting in the car you know crying about everything and it's really ridiculous that they're still living together like really really ridiculous and since then apparently something's happened with their house i i don't they like had to lower the price I'll, I'll look up stories on that as well, but I just wanted to catch everybody up because it, it's still ridiculous. It, it's still ridiculous. It's just getting worse by the minute or not even I'm, worse by the week, I would say. So let's get into it. Now, this radar online, um, definitely check them out. They have more coverage on this as well. Uh, but they're saying that apparently Kim owes her divorce lawyer a lot. So, um, David Boudry or Boudry, y'all, I'm bad with pronouncing names, y'all. So this man filed a lien for $33,000 over alleged unpaid fees he claims his firm is owed for representing the ex-Real Housewife star of Atlanta in her war against Beerman, according to documents obtained by Radar Online. The attorney notice of fee lien was filed in Fulton County Superior Court of Georgia on February 6. He claimed that the mom of six owes their um comp their firm over $33,000 um that he provided to Zolziak or Zolzak for her legal matters. And that's not all. He said the balance continues to accrue since he's still representing her in her ongoing divorce battles. Like, can't you just like say, "Hey girl, you ain't paying me. I ain't doing no work. I'm dropping you." Find somebody else to pay me. Like, shoot. The lawyers let it go on. They just let it keep on counting up. Because I would have been, a, I mean, they had the money. I don't. $100 and you cut off from me. Anywho. Therefore, um, her lawyer warned the amount is expected to increase. Plus interest thereon as provided by law and contract for services between Kim and his company. He informed the court that he worked out a deal with her to place a lien against her family's Georgia mansion and collect his money off the home to stay. Oh, I get it. I get it. This is how she's okay. Okay. I just straight up like thought she wasn't paying them and everything, but it seemed like they worked out a deal because you probably don't have the cash, but the house does. So he had, he probably has to do this to get his money because obviously she's too busy getting stuff tightened and going out to fancy restaurants to afford that. This comes two months after um, exclusive Radar Online excuse the story that a lawyer representing um, Croy did the same thing. As the outlet reported, the ex put their seven-bedroom, 11-bathroom. What? How How you have more bathrooms than you have bedrooms? Anyways, um, y'all, 11 bathrooms. I mean, personally, I, I think, you know, I, I live off of one bathroom and I would love it if I could have another bathroom and it would be awesome. But, I mean, when there's more bathrooms than people, isn't it just too much? But, anywho, especially more bathrooms than bedroom. Like, what? Anywho, um, yeah, for, she, they put it on there, uh, for a six million dollars in October on the market and apparently it did prove you provide to be or 
I'm messing this all up. Proved to be ambitious with Zolziag and Biron dropping the asking price several times and landing on the $4.5 million spot. So currently they have it listed for 4.5. They keep on having to drop it. Nobody's buying it. I mean, y'all going to have to do something. So they apparently... They bought the 15,000 square foot property for only 880k in October 2012, which if they're able to get a few million out of it, I mean, that's a good that was a good investment right there. But let's keep on reading cuz we'll probably find out they ain't got that much money that they can get probably from everybody else having their hand in there because they're not paying all the bills. So Baron definitely are trying to convince the judge to let him sell their home amid their growing money issues. Um, which, again, I, I read the order. It was like, where kids are going to be, you know, homeless and something. It's like, there, I, I'm sorry, but there is no way you can convince me that somebody that lives in that nice of a house is just going to go from that nice of a house to straight up homeless. Okay. If they did what they were supposed to do, you know, if they actually got their stuff together and did what they were supposed to do, there was no way that you could live in that nice of a house, maintain that nice of a house. I mean, just electricity bills, electricity ain't going to let you owe money. Okay. They might let you own a month or two, but after a few months, they're going to cut you off. Okay. This isn't a credit card bill or whatever. Like, do you, so do you have to have the money to maintain that house so obviously you have the money coming in to maintain it so there's i'm sorry you're not going to convince me somebody that has the money to maintain that kind of house even though they're not paying the bill on it you know but they still have to pay the bill on utilities and stuff and other things that they're just going to end up straight up broke where they're going to be lit it, it that's just ridiculous for them to say that your your kids might end up in an apartment like but they won't end up homeless like they they might end up in a place that you don't want to be but you're not going to end up homeless i mean if you you're not a complete idiot that spends every single dime which at this point i'm talking i'm thinking they might <sighs> anyhow i say anything a lot i'm really sorry about that so um yeah they fired uh file for divorce a second time so they did it back in like april of last year they did it they i guess called it off and then did it again in august this is going on for almost a year y'all <sighs> so yeah um just to go over it the accusation of gambling drug abuse um and others is an attorney telling radar online that selling a house is crucial the rich as a retiree athlete doesn't have any sufficient su funds to get another place i mean even again with this you don't have the sufficient funds to get another place yes you do Okay, it may not be the place that you want and you may not have you have the ability to spend your money that you weren't spending on your house like you want, but you have the means to. Unless you zero zero dollar broke and you don't have anything else less you can pawn in this world, then you are not going, you have the means to get someplace else. Sorry, but a girl working, a, a single mom or a single dad with like kids out, out the butt and with a crappy paying job, if they can figure it out, y'all can get it together. That's just ridiculous. Okay. And in good news, actually, for their budget and family time maybe not for stomachs kim is cooking casserole for her kids after being forced to give up her family's private chef amid financial turmoil and ugly divorce from corey beerman 
Girl, you telling me this whole entire time you sitting there whining and crying and boohooing to the judge about how y'all broke and everything. Y'all been having a private chef this whole entire time? Like, I figured y'all weren't, like, eating home-cooked meals, but I figured, like, basic spaghetti would have done. Or maybe some... This is why I don't feel sorry for them. This is why it's hard to... <laughs> it's very, very, very hard to feel sorry for people that are this well off and that bad with money. Okay? Very hard. It, It's like the guilt. I, I feel sorry for the kids that they're not going to have... Probably anybody showing them in a way to spend a lot of money or like they should. Or I don't know. Just... Not good financial f parental figures. Because it's one thing to be poor and broke. But it's another thing to be rich and broke. Okay? Like, that's bad, bad. <sighs> but if they had a chef this whole entire time, and they're crying about how they're going to be homeless... <sighs> sitting there racking up money not paying every single bill you can not paying your divorce attorney don't know what's going to happen with your house but yet you have a private chef and i bet you you have pro now that i'm thinking about it i probably have a maid might have a nanny might even have a landscaper but i mean let's be honest do we see Croy getting out there or kim with you know pruning the hedges or whatever you call it like <laughs> again you can't feel sorry for these people you can't because they have a lot of money that they could do but they choose to spend it horribly bad they shouldn't have been going out to dinner they shouldn't have had a private chef like you shouldn't have anybody on your staff at this point you should be doing it all yourself okay i, I mean i'm sorry i haven't really seen anything with kim on it lately I haven't seen any. Croy's not doing no football no more. So, hmm. Maybe if y'all were working, and maybe if y'all were not hiring people to do the work for you in your house, maybe just maybe y'all wouldn't have the time to get in this many fights. <laughs> You know, maybe y'all be too busy taking care of your family and your house and doing some work. You wouldn't have had time. To do all this. But let's <laughs> let's get into this article. And this is from the Daily Mail. It says she dropped on Instagram on Sunday night to share a fresh faced selfie and reveal how she's now f how faring now that she no longer has a private chef. The forty five year old real I thought she was a lot older than me. Um <laughs> she ain't that much older than me. Who is in the middle of a contentious forest from Croy Beerman wrote in the bottom corner of her photo, nothing like a hair, fresh hair wash, lots of face cream, and a glass of vino, and a great dinner. Then she added on Kim on the casserole, implying that she had cooked it herself. Boy, that Stouffer, she just threw it in there. No, I'm just joking. She might have actually cooked it. I don't know. It what. Anybody know if you ever seen her cook anything on the show? I gotta go back. I forget everything. So I don't even know. I watched the show, but psh, I couldn't tell you. So the Broadway TV star's bouncy, bright, blonde locks fell one side of her face. I swear these articles, I mean, go check them out. But they put so much fluff on here. Really? Just <laughs> talking about what they're wearing, where they're at, what they said. It takes like five paragraphs to get through it which might be the same as me running my mouth so now that I think about it so the Bravo TV uh, yeah, already went over that for years it's shop top chef alone Tracy Bloom Tracy Bloom worked as a private chef for the family regularly appearing on the reality show Don't Be Tardy and also featuring on their social media however Bloom has been absent from the family homes in recent times note she is accepting new clients on her personal Instagram page so not only the like <laughs> This wasn't just a regular old, like, private chef, you know, you know, hire or some, you know, graduate from a culinary school. This was straight up somebody that was on TV and everything. So, well, well no, I, I mean, I don't know who she is, but she's probably well known in her world. <sighs> yeah.
She probably didn't cook that. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, in addition to her split with a strange husband, Kim, 38, or husband, Croy, 38. Ooh, he, he, yeah, he's my age. Um, Kim is also experiencing financial hardship and has been selling off valuable personal items. She took on media on Wednesday to offer friends a look at a silver Cartier love bracelet she put on the market for five grand. One over a close-up clip of her wearing the gorgeous bangle twisting her wrist to showcase it in different angles. Kim Poon can be heard saying, okay, you guys, you wanted a close-up with no filter. She captioned the video, $5,000 Cartier love bracelet, size 16, up close, no filter. The online sale came nearly a week after she shared that she sold her Sing Caroline cashmere collections, which she created in 2016, to the company 310 Nutrition. Oh, so she also sold a company. Um, mm -hmm. That breaks like $5,000. $5,000. I was thinking it was going to be, <laughs> be like shiny with diamonds or something. Yeah, you're just paying for the name at that point. Like, Girl, you could have got some of the Dollar General like for five bucks. It looked almost exactly the same thing. There's no way. I don't pay for names. <laughs> I don't. No, unless it has a Disney character on it, I might pay for that. Um, or Star Wars, you know, that. But that's that that that's as much as I go. That that's about as bougie as I go. Although the two have put. The residents up for sale. They are currently still living there together, of course, because everything's going crazy over there. They can't get their act together. Oh, so yeah, that's about it. Um, now, now one more thing. In this last article from Monsters and Critics, it says she is um she's reportedly returning for season sixteen. Looks like the Real Housewives Atlanta fans eagerly waiting Kim's return and finally getting their wish. Media Takeout reports that the original star has closed a deal to return for the upcoming R H O A season. Which, y'all, I haven't watched this in years. Like, literally, I have not watched a Real Housewives of Atlanta since I was, like, probably. Oh, gosh. I haven't watched that show in a long time. I, I, like, any Real Housewives show. I probably need to get into it. If you would like me to do recaps on it, which, y'all y'all know I'm really bad at asking, saying stuff and then not doing it, so... Don't take it for real. But if you'd like me to do some recaps on it. I think I might start doing like recaps of older shows. Because a lot of people are doing the recaps on the newer shows. Like Love After Lockup. And you know Sister Wives and everything. And it's it happens every week. It's hard for me to get to. But I figure if I do older shows. I might be able to ha do it at my own pace. And nobody else is really doing them since they you know a long time ago so if you'd like me to do that let me know now i completely forgot what i was gonna say gosh i hate when i say that i hate when they do that yeah i haven't watched that real housewives in a long time but y'all if kim and croy is on the next season of it i might just have to do it i might because it would be very interesting. Now, only if they have Kim and Croy on there. I don't want to see a whole show of just, you know, just seeing Kim here and there. And she's always talking crap about Croy. I don't want to see that. I want to see the interaction. I want to see the raw stuff. Which, I mean, let's think about this again. This might be a reason. Which everybody's speculating in the beginning. They might be doing this and get back on TV. So... Did we just get played? I don't know. Maybe we did. But anywho, I'm still interested. I don't care if they were playing us this whole time. I don't care. But, I mean, it's a train wreck. wreck. I'll watch it. Let's be honest. We all will. So, y'all have, well, not everybody. Some of y'all are better than me. A lot of y'all are. I ain't gonna lie. Anyways, y'all have a great day. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye.